This studio vlog is brought to you by Skillshare. Throughout this video, you'll see me using several techniques that I've learned or improved via the Skillshare platform. But without further ado, let's jump in. Now, if you guys are new here, my name is Sheena and I'm a digital content creator, video editor, and Etsy shop owner based out of New York City. Now, in the last video I published, I basically explained to you guys how I made money as a freelancer. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. But I figured I would take you through a week of my life basically making money using all different streams of income. And unfortunately, I have to start this particular morning at the DMV. Um, I haven't had a New York State license since I've moved here. It's been four years and just makes it a little harder to do business when you don't have a physical New York address on your ID. So I just went ahead and knocked that out. Now I am headed into the city to do a consultation for a client who may need some social media work. I don't always have to go in person to meet people, but there are times when Skype isn't the best avenue to get work done. So I decided to go and meet this particular client at her salon. Now, just to be transparent, this particular partnership did not work out, but I learned so much from it and I'm gonna be able to use those lessons moving forward. Now, once that consultation was done, I popped over to a co-working space to meet up with the guys from Vistoria Studios. What's up, slackers? I didn't know we had a maroon day. Didn't know we had a maroon day. Slackers, what's up? Oh, wow, wow. Torrents going on, what's going on over here? Okay. That's what I thought. Now, if you guys have not heard of Vistoria Studios, they are a video production company based out of New York City. And so here I'm just meeting with them to discuss the future of their social media platforms, the expectations, and also setting up posts because I am headed out of the country in a few days. And just as we were wrapping up, I actually bumped into a fellow YouTuber and content creator named Cece Olisa. She is amazing and so inspirational. She created the quote, don't wait on your weight to live your best life. And I am just so in love with her personality. Hopefully we can meet up a little bit later and I'll be able to vlog that for you guys. So the next day, Dustin and I decided to venture out into Brooklyn so that I can get some new headshots and brand photos. One thing that I feel like people do not talk about enough is that your brand has to be professional off the bat if you plan to make any type of money or future in this business. And one thing I didn't have were up to date headshots or even just images for my site and for my media kit. So I wanted to take you guys out with me and just show you how simple it is to try to gather a few professional shots, just working with a spouse, a friend, a sibling, especially if you don't have the budget to have an entire photo shoot done. And one thing I love about working with someone that you know, you're able to kind of loosen up and be more of yourself, which really translates through your photos. I don't believe that I'm particularly photogenic. And so working with Dustin just made it a bit easier because I'd be more comfortable in front of him than a stranger. So I would say overall, just try to be yourself and definitely be as comfortable as possible. So if you don't naturally wear blazers every day or high heels, I wouldn't recommend wearing that because you're going to look uncomfortable, like you're not in your normal element. So me being in Brooklyn with my spouse who I'm very comfortable with in an outfit that I will traditionally wear on any day of the week just made this photo shoot look completely organic. And as you can see, I decided to bring a camera out with me just as a prop or accessory, just to basically show the type of work that I do and let that translate through the photo without me having to say anything at all. And then I also decided to have a little fun and took a picture of Dustin, which I think turned out so well. If you guys want another in-depth video on like how we find creative spots to take pictures and get a more editorial look, be sure to let me know below. So without going into too much detail, I would say my number one tip for going out and getting amazing shots is to take as many pictures as possible. You're gonna be trying different poses and looks and backgrounds, and some of them are just not going to work out. But if you have a ton of pictures to choose from, you're going to be okay. And as always, just have fun. <laughs> so 
So I ended up getting quite a few shots that I really loved, but for my main site bio and for my media kit, I decided to go with this one and it is my favorite picture by far. Now moving on to the next day, I am working on some more client work. So in my last video on how I make money as a freelancer, I mentioned that I do illustrations, but those projects can vary depending on what the client is looking for. And for this particular client, who is an old friend of mine, he wanted some stickers made that he could actually hand out to clients because he owns an agency. And so this was something new that I tried out for the very first time and I really enjoyed it. And just in case you guys were curious, I am using a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It is a newer model. I have an Apple Pencil and I'm using the program called Procreate and it is available in the App Store and I believe it's 10 bucks. I would say it is by far my favorite application. It has helped me to make stickers for my shop, do all of my illustrations for my clients. I am just so in love with this application and over the last few months, I really believe that I have improved my skill and my techniques. And just in case any of you are Procreate users and are wondering what brush I'm using, I will have all of my brushes linked below for you to check out. And then when it comes to a more formal Procreate tutorial, I decide that if I do one, I will definitely upload it to Patreon specifically. So if you guys are interested in a video like that, be sure to let me know. I'm still figuring this whole thing out and how to even set up a Patreon in general. So just be patient with me and I'll have some more news on that soon. As I finish up this project, we are going to take a quick moment to thank our video sponsor, Skillshare. If you guys have been on this channel for some time, then you know this is my favorite partnership by far because I really use the platform in every facet of my brand and my business. For those of you that have never heard of Skillshare, it's basically an online learning community for creators like me with over 25,000 classes in different things from design, business, Etsy, you name it. And if you guys are interested in diving deeper into whatever your craft is, they do offer a premium membership, which gives you unlimited access. You can join classes and all different types of communities that are perfect for your industry. So whether you're someone like me who's in the beginning stages of building their business and trying to learn more skills to build their brand, or just someone who is getting into a new craft or hobby and is trying to get super refined, they also offer a super affordable annual subscription that is less than $10 a month. I say this all the time that you have to invest in yourself and the only way that you get better is to keep learning. So when you saw me doing things like photo editing to the pictures that I took, which was super minimal editing, and also framing photos, these are things that I've learned on Skillshare through classes that I've mentioned, like the photography class with Justin Bridges, which is one of my favorites. And I've also been getting into more in-depth videos on how to create proposals and just creating better content for Instagram, because that's definitely a weak spot in my brand that I need to work on. So if you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare, they are actually partnering with me on this video to give the first 500 people two free months to check it out, which is a total steal. You can get so much content out of two months. So go ahead and check that out. I will have a dedicated link below. So go ahead and click it and join more than 7 million creators learning on Skillshare today. So here I'm applying the finishing touches to the sticker and I am so happy with how it turned out. I sent him a sample as well and he was pretty satisfied with it too. So as you can see, these are die cuts and he ordered about 150 of them. So I'm just getting all of those cuts done. And before you guys freak out about his name and address, he is an agency owner. This information is available publicly online, so it's totally okay. All right, so now I am just sorting them out. Rather than stuffing all of them into one cello bag, I decided to count them out for him in batches to make it easier to sort. And it also makes my flat mailer flatter, which means that I won't be charged as much for it to go through the mail slot.
Okay, so we are all done and moving on to the next project. So seeing that I am headed out of town on vacation for over a week, I decided to make an out of office banner for my Etsy shop. I know that it's not something that you have to do, but I'm really into communication and just making sure that everyone knows what's going on at all times. And so instead of closing down my shop for eight plus days, I decided to keep it open, but just mention that shipping will be a bit delayed until I come back because I am a one woman show. So for this particular illustration, I decided to just do an image of myself basically in a bikini um, with an out of office sign, which I think turned out so cute. All right, so we are jumping right into the next day. It is bright and early and I am headed into the city to do a consultation job. So one thing that I've mentioned over time is that when you selflessly help others that it will just automatically come back around to you. And this is definitely one of those scenarios. I used to work with someone um, and I was a friend and mentor of his. And when this opportunity came up to do some IT consultation, he gave me a ring and I jumped right on it um, because as a freelancer, you have to go after as many opportunities opportunities as possible, especially in the beginning. So right now I'm just headed down to the Arlo Hotel in Soho to support a meeting event for a brand. And I'm going to show you guys a few clips here, but then most of it is going to be blurred or time lapse because it is a private client meeting and you can't just record everything in the room. But my basic job for this morning was to set up all of their TVs to ensure their PowerPoint decks were up and working. And then they also had a Bluetooth clicker to get through the slides. Now, this was a half day job, so I was probably on site for about five hours, five to six hours. And the best part about this job is that as the meeting was occurring, I was able to sit outside and just work on some of my own brand work and admin work, which was amazing. So here I'm just finishing up my out of office banner because I'm actually headed out of town the next morning. So I had to get that up as soon as possible. And that's basically how I'm ending my week going into my vacation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and the transparency and just seeing a bit more of what my day to day looks like as a freelancer trying to make money in New York City. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.